Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of the Road to Glory. Uh, we're finally back with another video. It was a little bit slow to, you know, see what we can add, see uh, what can we upload, because there, there's been a lot of content, but not a lot of content related to us, to our team. Uh, obviously, Giroud came out, I'm pretty sure, uh, at some point, and uh, obviously, he's been on the bench. Uh, since the previous episode, but we never got to show uh, that we actually went through the process, I'm pretty sure, um, of obtaining him. But we are going to have a brand new squad update at the end of this video. And we're going to get straight into one of the SBCs that EA had to compensate us for. There was an SBC, the Year in Review SBC. And uh, obviously, we're going to see right now why we got a compensation and here we are, the uh, the player pick that we got initially was uh, was uh, these three picks. And obviously, uh, for us, fodder was more important than anything else. But if you guys didn't know, which you probably already know by now, the record breaker Edward from Crystal Palace was technically an SBC that came out after December 31st. And in the rules or the description, of this SBC, um, it said it would be any SBC that would was that was released prior to that specific date. So we did get our compensation, and here it is. We got a, a duplicate, Mateo Kovacic, and obviously um, after getting that, I was just waiting for some SBC to come. And in the leaks, it was actually noted that a prime Drogba SBC was coming. So obviously we had to wait out for that kind of stuff but uh getting into one of the big team changes uh thanks to future stars we have a new uh, we have a new player into the cdm position i know in the video here i was going back and forth between the center back and the cdm but honestly the cdm just works a lot better for for the team and the dribbling is kind of one of the things that i was really looking at the difference between the center back and the cdm it's very clear and so, you know, I just ended up going with the CDM uh, because it was a lot, it, it's a much better card and we wanted somebody that can compete with uh, Flashback Conte. So we have him and we went into the qualifications for FUT Champs. Um, you know, I, haven't, I haven't played FUT Champs in a really long while and I was hoping that uh, qualifications wouldn't be that difficult and they they were there were like two there were two games where it was probably impossible for me to win because my opponent had a very very strong team and their uh, I don't know their their chemistry between their players was uh, a lot better than ours um, and my defending at times was a uh, pretty horrible but we did manage to uh, we did manage to qualify for Fight Champs, so we'll be doing that because uh, today we actually got something huge in terms of content. But we'll save that for after this. Um, obviously, with Future Stars uh, coming to a, a close at the end of this week. Um, during uh, Team of the Year, we actually got the announcement that we would be getting uh, swap tokens for future stars and uh you know uh, me being a road to glory with the chelsea players with the exception of messi uh we knew that we had to get this card um and considering the fact that how easy the tokens were um i didn't feel like it would be much of a hassle to gather 20 tokens uh, compared to like gathering 20 tokens for icon swaps they're the dynamic um or not the dynamic the difficulty between those two things is, is uh, very huge and you know this was a lot more casual for me so you know getting a uh, gallery was uh, not too much of a problem so yeah we, uh, we managed to get all 20 tokens um, I wanted to wait until Sunday this past Sunday because um, I didn't want to spend another I didn't I didn't want to spend more time doing SBCs for like another token 
when I couldn't just wait and get him on the Sunday um, without needing to do anything because squad battles I already had enough points in squad battles to get way above goal three um, so yeah there was there we have him he uh, when his when his in games came out I was trying to figure out whether I should drop Kovacic and keep De Bruyne or drop De Bruyne and keep Kovacic uh, I think for right now I haven't tried him out yet but in the next episode that's probably going to be the focus because I don't think there will be much content in regards to Chelsea maybe maybe not but uh, he's he's definitely one of the cards I want to try out because uh, De Bruyne at sometimes will stumble on his own two feet and I don't know if that's just me but uh, De Bruyne is still he's still a pretty cracked card but I kind of wish I had uh, his team of the year version would have made uh, playing a whole lot easier but we have Connor now and he'll be a nice addition to the team and we have the introduction of our very first icon our very first legend as it was said back in the days these guys were legends uh, and now they're icons you know so it allows for a more wiggle room uh, but yeah we have our first icon of FIFA 22 and it is none other than the king of Stamford Bridge himself we have prime Mom prime Didier Drogba I was hoping it would be prime moments uh, just like last year because that card was has a lot better in terms of dribbling um, and in this game I really like a striker that can move around and, and try to wiggle through certain spaces uh, which is what Timo was giving me for a good a good while uh, but now he's kind of a uh, flimsy at times so I'm kind of hoping that uh, Drogba can be a little bit more different he's got a lot better physicals than Werner so maybe he doesn't need to be uh, so nimble on the ball and I can just make better passes and hopefully he scores a lot of goals for us you know this is a, this is a big moment for our road to glory and Drogba wasn't the only um, SPC icon that dropped for us we also got a Samuel Eto'o who we'll probably be working on for the next 20 days which is how long we have um, before he expires and obviously I want to complete that Eto'o just just for more collection because he's Eto's a really good card I wanted to try him last year I never got the chance to and his uh, his 90 rated card seems good enough for me to uh, spend my time working towards and uh, who knows maybe maybe we pack something that can speed up that process because right now we have some 420 thousand coins and that's not enough to outright finish him and we are not in a good position to start working on him yet because we did spend all that fodder into a drug bot. And right here are the packs, which are a bit lackluster. It's one of the things that EA really should work on. I mean, we're submitting so many cards for an icon. I know we're getting the value of the icon plus packs, but these packs need to be way better for the stuff we are throwing in there um, but you know it is what it is hopefully at some point in the future they change it because there's not a lot of places where we can get some decent return um, but you know hopefully hopefully we can finish at toe he's only eight segments truck out with six uh you remove two because you remove two from each each icon because they have like their rare bronzes and rare silver um, squads which are basically easy to do if you have a full club um, I had to buy I think a bronze and a silver to finish Drogba because of the uh, the mudded club that we have right now because of team of the year um, it's very difficult to do many SPCs at all to even complete them um, but yeah, I think uh, uh, I don't know what else to to say. Um, I guess there is one thing in the leaks that 
I've seen on Twitter is that we're getting like a fought captains thing and I assumed that it would be like any captain um, but apparently it's specifically to heroes so I don't know if EA is just gonna focus primarily on heroes maybe they throw out some moments SPCs and flashback SPCs to captains that are still in the game but aren't heroes and icons and whatnot um, you know maybe maybe we get something there maybe uh, I don't know Chelsea captains aren't aren't, aren't uh, there's not a lot of them that I can remember I know we have Ospi and, and whatnot but I think like the the captains that we've had so far that led us to trophies I think have been Terry Aspi and I don't know who else could I don't know who else is supposed to be on my mind right now but there's the only two that I can remember I know Jorginho is vice pretty sure we've seen Mount wear the armband but he hasn't like he wasn't wearing the armband when we won the stuff so it's uh it's a bit of a different area there and hopefully the the uh hopefully the promo is good but with that we're gonna end it off and uh, hopefully i will see you guys in the next video um i will leave you guys with the new squad update just to show you guys what it looks like um have a incredible day i'll see you guys peace